Hi everyone. Now, one of the trickiest things with ophthalmic anesthesia is actually drawing up the solution. There's so many different solutions I've used over the last decade or so, and I've pretty much come back to this pretty simple formula, which is a combination of really fast acting um, and long acting enough, which is 2% lignocaine with 30 units per mil highlays. Now, the other solution that I've used is 2% lignocaine with 0.6% ropivacaine and 30 units per mil highlays. And I've tried a number of different combinations. For example, when I just use ropivacaine, it's not fast onset enough. And when I don't use highlays, again, for, for a really fast cataract blist, it's just not fast enough for a good block. So this is what I do for the 2% lignocaine, 30 units per mil highlays formula. So first of all, I've got this equipment here, a whole bunch of two mil lignocaine solutions, sterile vials there. Got a 10 mil syringe, a 20 mil syringe. You, can, you don't really need this device, but it does help. And also I've just got a drawing up needle. Finally, I've got the Hylase 1500 international units uh, and it's as a powder. So the first thing I do, drop 10 mils of the 2% lignocaine. And again, I'm being really careful to check these vials as I do so, because getting these wrong, getting the wrong solution can be a really devastating mistake. And I just inject here, I inject a few mils into the vial and I stir with my drawing up needle and that dissolves the powder really well. And then I just draw it up a few times just to make sure it's all into my syringe. I've now got a solution with 10 mils of 2% lignocaine. And then there's 1500 units in that. So now it's 150 units per mil of highlays, just to be specific, okay? I cap that and keep that safe. And now here's the kind of tricky part as I dissolve and mix this up. So what I do now, depending on how many blocks, every block needs three to four mils. So I just make a rough calculation of what I need. So say I've got six more blocks today, six times four is 24. So I'm gonna have say 25 mils in this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop 20 mils of 2% lignocaine I'm gonna have now 20 mils. 20 mils of this combined with five mils of this solution here will dilute the high layers down to 30 units per mil. So you really don't want more than 30 units per mil of high layers, unnecessary really. I then cap that with this little device or I can put up a drawing drawing up needle on the end of that. And I just really make sure that I label this really well. Of course, you don't want to be giving this accidentally intravenously. So sometimes what I do is I label these syringes by actually attaching the vials on it. And that way I can't accidentally use this intravenously because that's what I, and my non-intravenous solutions I'll always do this for. Now to do my original solution, what I do is I use 10 mils of 10% lignocaine and I use that in a 10 mil syringe. I then put the 1500 units of highlays into that 10 mil syringe instead of what I did previously. I then combine that with my ropivacaine. So I'd say I take 0.75% ropivacaine and in a five mil syringe, I might draw up four mils of the 0.75 ropivacaine and just one mil of the solution. And then I get 2% lignocaine, 30 units per mil highlays and 0.6% ropivacaine.